What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. Now you're probably thinking, where the heck have you been Milan? Well, I've been here and I've been a little busy. So let me first get started with the introduction part. So happy new year guys, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had an awesome holiday. Um, I know I did. I've been busy with a lot of family stuff and I've also been busy here in the garage. Now I haven't been putting out a ton of videos for the Mini. That's because I've been working on other stuff regarding the Mini. So my goal for this year is getting this thing up and running. So I have my transmission, I have my motor right there, and I'm gonna be putting all of that in the engine bay, I'm gonna be boosting this thing, and I'm gonna be making it absolutely badass. But, you guys know how OCD I am, I can't just put it together how the car is right now. So take a look at my front bash bar, the front bumper bar, see how nice and shiny that is? I can't leave that like that and leave, let's say, the rest of the subframe looking rusty like that, and the engine bay in this condition. So, what I'm gonna be doing and what I have been doing is working on the Mini to get it so that I can put the motor and trans in the engine bay. So, over here I have a bunch of parts that I've already restored and made to look a hell of a lot better than before. So I've got the tensioner right here for uh, the serpentine belt. I have all this stuff wrapped in saran wrap just so that it doesn't, well, not only rust on me, but it doesn't get dusty. Most of these parts are made out of aluminum. That's aluminum. Um, I've got a new starter, I've got the cylinder head here, I have the oil pan, I have some other parts back here, I've got motor mounts, um, crankshaft, uh, sprocket let's call it, I have the water pump pulley, a new one there, motor mount, exhaust manifold, clutch fork, um, alternator, um, AC compressor. So I have all of that. Um, I spent a decent amount of time sandblasting most of it and then painting it afterwards so that it would not only stay looking really nice, but the raw aluminum wouldn't oxidize. So that all right there is painted and it looks killer. And I did the same kind of treatment here to the transmission. So last week and a little bit before Christmas, I was really busy with this thing. So I put a new limited slip differential inside the transmission, I put new seals, I put new bearings inside this thing, and it looks and is going to behave amazingly, but I've got about two hours worth of footage that I need to chop through, and that's gonna take a while. So I was thinking to myself, I might as well give you guys something to see and just let you guys know what I've been up to in the meantime uh, before that video comes out. Following that, I'll probably be working on either the engine or the subframe or getting ready to you know, take that out so I can get the subframe looking to be amazing. Um, I'm gonna be removing all the rust on it, I'm gonna be probably chassis savoring the whole thing, um, but right now, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But as for the transmission, that took a while, it worked out good, put a, a wave track differential inside the thing. So this thing is a lifetime product. Once you put it in, there's no clutches that need to be replaced. It's literally put it in, get up and go, and you're done. So I've been super busy with that. Now also, coming this year, I'm gonna be registering myself into school. Now it's not huge, it's one class a week, or technically one class, um, an hour and a half every Tuesday and Friday. So there's one more thing on my plate, but I am promising you guys, and hold this to me, this thing is gonna be on the ground for springtime. I've got too much money just sitting here and I've got so many parts coming in so that I can finish this thing. I have the trunk right now organized and I have it pretty much full with all the parts that I need for this. I have a couple more on the way. Um, I don't really think there's too much that I need. Um, the last thing that I needed that just came in is this. This is an ARP fastener assembly lubrication and you use this whenever you're installing the cylinder head up to the block. It makes it so that when you're installing the head studs or even the main studs on the bottom of the engine, the threads are gonna be properly seated into the block. So with all of that out of the way, let me show you what I've done. Okay, so let's first show you the transmission. Look at how damn good this thing looks. I spent a decent amount of time taking care of all the bolts. I sandblasted all of them. Um, I then clear coated them so they'd stay looking like this. Now these aren't exactly zinc coated or anything, um, at least now, but these are not going to rust. So I'm not gonna have to worry about that down the road. Uh, the entire casing I painted, this guy here I removed. Um, if you remove the transmission uh, from this little stand here and flip it upside down, that is how I went ahead to remove all the bolts for the casing so I could get access to the internals. Um, as for the motor, I got the motor back from the machine shop. I want to paint this thing I want to paint the block, probably red. But as for the, all the other good stuff, everything's ready to go. So mechanically, the block is sound. I've got no problems with it. I got it machined, everything is balanced. Um, the bottom end is sealed up, but I'm gonna be painting all the block red. 
So it means I'll probably have to remove all the main studs down on the bottom of the block to get access to that, so I do a good job. But I'm happy to bring you guys along with me during this journey. Now, on Instagram, I did post a decent amount of stuff, so if you guys aren't following me, definitely do it. It's at Millmast. Um, I have stories on there, and I keep you guys updated as to what I'm doing pretty much every day. So if you guys don't wanna wait for each and every video on YouTube to come out to see what I'm doing, you guys can follow me there, and I put out more content, so if you guys wanna see what I'm up to, you guys can do that. Anyways, guys, this video isn't meant to be long. It's just short and sweet. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding the video, or even if you guys have any questions about the transmission, I've got that training video coming out soon. Motor's gonna be getting worked on. Comment section's down there. You guys know what to do. I hope that 2019 is gonna be a great year for all of you guys. Me too, I really hope that, fingers crossed. But bottom line, this thing needs to get off its jack stance. So, let's see what we can do. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.